All right, welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel and Livewire application. And in this video, we'll be working on editing particular user information. So before moving further, let's add the icon over here. So let's add that icon. So let me go to resources, views, and then partial and then aside. And over here, over here let me do FA users okay yeah we are showing that icon also let's add icon over here and here as well and make it look pretty good so let me go to list users and let me search for cancel and over here let's add one icon called FAFA times okay yeah this this icon also let me add some margin right of one and let's add icon over here as well save okay also let's do margin right of one here as well so now let's see yeah those are looking pretty good so now let's go to the editing part so here when someone click on this edit icon over here we need to display the model like this so let's do that part so let me go to edit and link over here then let's do wire click and let's prevent the default event and let's do edit and the and the user we are trying to edit is this is specific user so let's create this method on our list users class component okay list user class component after here let's create that method called edit and we will be receiving the type of user and user okay let's die and dump user yeah when i click on this i need to display the specific user information called jessica king yeah this information now if i press here then we need to see that specific user information okay perfect this is perfectly fine so now we need to show the model so to show the model we have already done this we need to dispatch the browse event so let's dispatch browse event dispatch browser event called so form so we have already we have already uh, created the javascript for listening the event so let me go let me show it For swing the model, we are already listening to the Gwint event to for this specific event called show form, and we are opening the model. So let's see if that works. If I click on edit, yeah, perfect. The model is displayed. Okay, but here we see add new add new user instead of edit user. So let's fix this part. So let me go to list users and let me create one public property called so edit model and by default let's make this as false okay now let's go to list users load file and let me go to add new user let me find that over here okay now let me remove it no we need to go to the model section here over here let me remove it come here and let's wrap it inside of span and now let's write a conditional for this so if so edit if so edit model is true 
then we need to so edit user okay we need to display the user otherwise we need to display add new user and let's do an if now let's see if this works so if i click on edit it should so edit user so let me go to list user and let's make this so edit model is true when someone press that edit icon so let's do this edit so edit model is true okay now let's see yeah this is working perfectly fine so but if i press on add user it is still showing edit user so let's fix this as well so when someone press add new then we need to say this so edit model is true we need to make that is sorry we need to make this is false okay so if i press on add user then it is showing end user text and if i press this edit icon then it is showing edit user perfect also let's make this uh, as save changes instead of save while someone edit that particular user information so let's do that as well so let me go to uh, let me go over here and press do let me cut it and do span and save so if so edit model is true then we need to do save changes otherwise let's do save only okay now let's see yeah this is showing save changes and if i do click on add new user and it is only saying say perfectly fine so if i click on save changes then it is showing that particular validation so the, those validations are from add new user so here while we try to submit the form we are creating the user so now we need to do um update user instead of create user so let me remove this from here and let's add a conditional so when the so edit model is true then let's do update user otherwise let's do create user okay so let's create this method and this in our class so after edit method let's add one method called update user and let's die and dump here okay now let me refresh it let me edit and let's do save changes it is working perfectly fine but if i click on end user and save the validation is working perfectly fine as well so now we have already written this code previously so let me copy it and let me paste it over here okay so here we need to uh, we need the name field is required and email is required so let's test this first yeah perfect but we don't see that specific user information if, if we press on this edit icon then we should display that user information over here so let's fix this first so while showing the edited edit model let's do this state equals to user to array actually we are saving those information to our state because in list users we are using wire model the defer and the state name so it will work perfectly fine so let me go and test it 
if I click on edit and we are receiving the user information if I click here we receive that particular user information but make sure you are not passing sensitive information so let me die and dump user to array okay yeah we are we are seeing those information as well as uh, this information as well so let me go to user class user model class and over here we are hiding the password and remove the token as well so let me hide this as well create it as well and upgrade it as a as well okay make sure we are, you are not passing any sensitive information to the front end so let's check this one more time when i press it edit it and we see name and email and id okay yeah now if i click on edit we see that specific user information and if i click on save we see this email validation here but we don't want to show this validation like, um, like the email has already been taken for this user so let's fix this first so while updating the user make sure to ignore this particular user so to do this let's do this user id let's ignore this specific user id okay so actually we don't have the user so we'll receive the error called property user not found in the components so let's create that property called user okay so while editing let's do let's do this user let's save this user to our property okay so we will have access to that user let me refresh it and let me edit it and yeah we are seeing this unknown column 20 so to fix this make sure you, you pass specific column that specific column is email okay so let me refresh it again and let me edit and do save changes yeah this is working perfectly fine and the password field is required we don't want this password field is with as required in a while editing the user information so let's fix this as well by doing sometimes okay now let me refresh it and edit it and save it and we will see this error code undefined index password so make sure to write one conditional over here if if validated data password isn't empty so let me copy it isn't empty okay if validated data password isn't empty then only we will retrieve that password okay now let's die and dump here okay now let me edit it and save changes yeah this is perfectly fine so if i if we don't pass anything then we we should see that validation as well okay yeah perfect now let me remove it so now instead of creating the user we need to update the user so we have user available so let's do this user update with those validated data and we don't need this also um also to hide the form we need to hide that specific model so to hide that model we are passing the browser event as before and uh, we are passing the message as user updated successfully and we don't need to write this as we are working with the model and we are not redirecting anywhere so let me remove it from here as well as from here as well okay now we have already we have already 
edit the javascript for listening to hide form so over here we are already writing the javascript for this so it will automatically work okay now let me edit it and click on save changes yeah perfect the it is the changes are made so let's do the actual changes edited and edited let me save those yeah those information are edited and we are not refreshing the page anymore and we see this beautiful post notification and everything is perfectly working so i hope you like this video don't forget to, to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so in the next video we will be working on deleting this particular user information so till then have a great time and i will see you in the next video